Beef quality assurance is, is, uh, is a set of principles that also apply to specifics. Well, beef quality assurance is important on a number of different levels. Uh, one of the levels uh, is preventive medicine. You know, what can we do to prevent disease versus the uh, fire engine approach to treating it once, it once we have an outbreak? And beef quality assurance, the, the foundation of beef quality assurance is, is uh, animal welfare, disease prevention instead of treatment, and, uh, and disease control. If you, if you don't have disease in the first place, you don't have to treat them. And if you don't have to treat them, you don't have any problems with residues, you don't have any problems with injection sites, you don't have any of those kinds of problems that come along once your prevention has failed. So prevention and, uh, is the key not only to animal health and the Beef Quality Assurance Program, but it's also the prevention to welfare problems. If you don't have a sick animal, you've got very few problems in terms of cattle welfare. I think it's very important that we have a zero tolerance toward mistreatment of animals, and not only that, but that we elevate the treatment to the highest level we can based on science and experience. I think that's, that's extremely important. Research is, is kind of the backbone of, of BQA, and we've got to manage these things in a way to prevent the diseases, and, and of course all of those management tools come out of good research that's done uh, not only in a laboratory on campus, but also out here in the real world where we can make sure that these disease prevention tools actually do work for the cattle and, and for the ranchers. And California is different because we are very close uh, to 38 million consumers. So we get instant feedback when we're doing things that look to be the right thing and when we're doing things that don't look to be the right thing. We're doing whatever it takes. And maybe it's a small problem, maybe it's a big problem, but we've got a solid foundation where producers and now consumers understand that if BQA methods are followed, there's a good foundation for cattle health, cattle welfare, and quality of beef already laid in place. But you gotta keep it at your audience's level. It's simple attitude. You've got to effectively communicate with folks if you want them to understand what, what, you, what you understand. So that, that's, that's the fun part, is working through that process, using that uh, discipline that I've gained uh, academically and, and through practice and, uh, and helping those folks out. And of course, for me, uh, knowing that there's some cows behind those, those folks that I'm helping out to, that makes all the difference in the world. That's, that's, that's the fun of getting up every day. Gee, I wonder what we're gonna get today. You know, everybody's looking to make the product better. Same thing with us, whether it's a rancher, slaughterhouse worker, everybody. Once we adopt that quality assurance attitude, then things just keep getting better naturally.